ho, ho, Merry Christmas to each and every one of you who are watching this video right now. Um, on this Christmas day or whenever you're watching this. Um, I know I don't look very Christmassy or anything, um, but uh, <laughs> today we're going to talk about a topic that I don't really talk about much, which is Christmas movies. And I kind of have a bunch of Christmas movies in my collection, so I thought, why not make a video here on Christmas Day, so... Um, yeah, well, let's start this uh, Christmas movie collection sort of thing with um, probably one you expect, or not, um, which is The Polar Express. Um, my copy hasn't been opened yet. Um, but I have seen this movie, um, starring Tom Hanks as the guy who, um, conducts the train or something like that. Um, it's not really my favorite movie, but for some reason I decided to buy this, uh, just because to have it in my collection. Um, so yeah, um, do I like this movie? Eh. It's okay, I guess. Um, you know, I just bought it to, to have it in my collection as sort of a... I saw this movie once, so maybe I want to watch it again at some point, maybe at Christmas, so now is my chance to do so. Um, I will definitely watch this movie today or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, uh, Polar Express, really uh, cool movie, I guess. Um, so yeah, let's move on to another movie I uh, have in my collection, Christmas. Let's move on. <laughs> Alright, the second movie in my collection that has something to do with Christmas is Jingle All The Way. i actually never seen this movie, but I'll definitely watch it this year. Um, it's, from what I've heard, it's basically about Arnold trying to get this, like, doll for his son or something. Uh, this uh, action figure for his son, but they're all sold out, so he has to go on this crazy journey to find it. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to it. Arnold is always great. I really want to do an impression of Arnold, but I suck at it. <laughs> Got that job out. Sorry. Jingle All The Way. Uh, it sounds like a really cool movie. Okay, um, the third one I have right here is not really a Christmas movie, but it's more like an honorable mention. Um, <laughs> the Penguins of Madagascar. Um, these guys um, had their own TV show, um, obviously from the Madagascar a movie franchise. They were always the best characters. Uh, in those movies, so they got their own uh, TV show, which lasted for three seasons, so pretty long. And I have a bunch of these uh, cartoon compilation discs, and one of them is uh, a Christmas themed. So um, yeah, uh, this cartoon is great, love it. I have a bunch of other things as well, like Fairly Up Parent, SpongeBob. Obviously, they have a Christmas episodes as well, so. This was kind of an honorable mention, um, but yeah, there you go. How unexpected! Nobody's film collection is complete without a copy of Home Alone 1 and 2 and 3 and 4. No, I'm kidding. Um, I only own uh, the first two movies because the other movies, well, they suck. Um, let's just say I'm not the biggest fan of these movies to begin with, um, but uh, for some reason I decided to put them in my collection anyway, just in case I want to watch them at some point. Um, the, the scene that I love the most, I believe, it's from the second movie where it's like recreating this um, like 
choice compilation thing with the uh, with the movie, you know, where he, uh, where someone is at the door and he's like giving all the answers with parts from the movie. That is really cool. Um, so yeah, uh, Home Alone one and two, and the rest uh, no. My next movie uh, that is Christmas themed in my collection is Scrooge. This is the Albert Finney. Uh, version and as far as I know this is the only version that has a scene where he goes to hell and when I saw this movie for the first time as a kid um, I was at school by the way they showed this at school um, the scene where um, the third ghost um, when he when when the third ghost is revealed to be a skeleton, that part scared me so much as a kid. And then he falls into hell and stuff like that. Um, those scenes might be a little bit too much for a kid, um, but you know now that I'm looking back at it, it looks really fake and all. So um, just for nostalgic uh, purposes, I bought this uh, version of Scrooge. Uh, in my collection. I still need to watch it, but I'll definitely, um, I'll definitely watch it, uh, well, tomorrow or today. So, Scrooge, uh, the only version with uh, the hell scene, which is really cool. So, yeah. Some say it's a Christmas movie, and some say that's blasphemy. We're talking about Stirb langsam! Jawohl! Uh, we're talking about Die Hard, of course. Um, sure, the movie takes place on Christmas, but it's not really a Christmas movie. I don't know. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of Die Hard. Um, this is the Die Hard collection, by the way. It has all oh, one, two, three, four, five. Uh, die Hard. I didn't know that it, that there were five. Um, I love the first two. The rest, well, the third one with Samuel L. Jackson is pretty cool, I guess. The other two, I don't really remember at all. But the first two are really, really great. Um, love them. Um, so yeah, Stirb uh, langsam. Um, just so you know. Um, the movies have English audio tracks, um, it's just a German cover, um, yeah. Die Hard, is it a Christmas movie or isn't it? Let me know in the comments. Why am I sitting here with my Harry Potter box set? Well, like Die Hard, um, I think I might be wrong. Um, People might think that this is a Christmas movie too, or at least the first two, or I don't know what I'm saying anymore. <laughs> um, the story behind this being a Christmas franchise or whatever is because the Harry Potter movies, um, they are always broadcast around Christmas time on television. Um, these movies obviously have some scenes uh, Evolving around Christmas, but for some reason people like like to watch these movies at Christmas for maybe that reason Or maybe because Christmas is magical and Harry Potter is magical um, I don't know exactly the reason behind this um, but uh, yeah, it's nice to know that these movies uh, You know stay a Christmas tradition uh, to watch these at Christmas, I don't know. Um, but yeah, Harry Potter franchise, uh, Christmas related. Uh, <laughs> there you go. We're already at the last movie that has Christmas related uh, in my collection. I know there's not a lot of Christmas themed stuff in my collection, um, but I personally don't really care about Christmas movies that much so but um, anyway um, the last movie in my collection is this movie the children and I like what the heck is this movie well 
I will tell you about it um, without spoiling too much. So, it's Christmas. A bunch of families um, get together and they travel to this house to celebrate Christmas, uh, like a Christmas vacation with a bunch of families. And then all of a sudden, there is this like virus or something and the kids, they go completely berserk and they start killing off the adults one by one. Um, so basically this movie is a slasher movie, but with kids uh, killing adults and of course the adults start fighting back and well, I won't spoil too much. Um, if you like this sort of stuff, um, I highly recommend this, uh, this movie, The Children. It's a really gory movie, I am uh, gonna say that uh, as a warning, but it, it, it is a really cool movie. Um, definitely not one that you would see coming because usually kids are sort of safe in movies, but this movie just goes completely nuts and throws everything overboard and just it does everything you don't expect. Um, it's really cool. So if you like gory slasher movies with killer kids on Christmas, the children is definitely one for you. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Once again, um, I wish you guys all a merry merry Christmas with your, you and your loved ones and your families and all that sort of stuff. Um, maybe this is the last video of the year, um, maybe not, uh, I don't know, but hopefully I will see you guys back in the next year. There's a bunch of new movies coming out, um, I will probably do reviews, unboxings and that sort of stuff. So. Definitely more new videos coming and um, I highly, highly appreciate it if you guys would stick around, would subscribe, uh, give likes, give comments, because I really, really appreciate that. And I really, really appreciate you guys who are already subscribed to my channel. I really, really love you guys. Have fun, be safe, and enjoy the Christmas days. I love you guys.